Yo, what's good? It's Josh. Welcome to the channel. Today's tutorial is on glaive vocals. How do you get those layers to sound like that? How do you do the effects? How does it sound so fire? If this is you, you're in the right place. Now I gotta admit, a lot of it's his voice, but a lot of it is in the effects and the way that he stacks his vocals. And I'm gonna be going over all that today in this tutorial. Let's get into it. For today's tutorial, I'm gonna be using a little instrumental that I came up with. Ha ha ha. Sounds a little something like this. You get the point, typical glaive type stuff. So I had this little hook idea. I'm gonna start with just the normal vocal. Got a little overdrive, auto-tune settings. I'm just boosting it all the way up. Key is an A major, thin low. We're not playing with any of the format right now, but that is something to mess with. Got the CLA vocals, sibilance, little EQ, this utility because my SM7B is a bitch. Nothing too crazy. But for now, we're just gonna get to recording this hook idea. So you just wanna come up with a kind of glaivey type melody or whatever sounds good to you. I don't wanna be friends with my exes, but something about you got me invested now. Now what I would recommend is to record each stack individually if possible. You want each individual stack to sound good on its own because if it sounds good on its own, it'll probably all sound good together. Good input equals good output. Right now I'm just going through and lining them up a little bit, tighten it up. I don't wanna be friends with my exes. This little space, I'm just gonna copy it over. Invested now. The first thing that is crucial to these glazed vocals is stacking and using harmonies. Right now, I'm kind of using a lower tone of my voice. What we want to do is add that high shit that's just like, Ooh. I don't want to be friends with my exes. That's what you would call an octave up. A couple more times. Let's do some more harmonies. Without getting too technical about what exactly harmonies are, you really just want to look for notes that complement the melodies that you're singing. For example, kind of test out different notes and see what sounds good to you. Oh, these is a little bit easier if you record them with the stacks so because you can, can kind of hear a reference of if it complements it or not. I don't want to be friends with my exes, but something about you got me invested now. So let's stack those a couple times. Next, you want to balance the vocals out. Usually, you want to pick a lead, which in this case, I think I might go with the high one. I don't want to be friends. Little trick. Set the doubles of the lead all the way left and right, and then kind of pan the other ones in. This will help them sound even wider and just like really fill up the whole frequency spectrum. Something you can do to add a little bit of character, something like manipulator or auto tune. Either one works. What you basically want to do is just mess with the format. How you would get to that in auto tune, you just go to format and then mess with the throat. Something you can do to add a little bit of texture in your vocals is add a pitched down kind of look kind of sound or a pitched up octave. Either way, it's gonna slap. Something I like to do with these kind of vocals is put a doubler on it and EQ it a little bit. Also compressing it so it's really squashed. Playing with the overdrive on these a lot helps as well to kind of give it that like more like uh, like a distorted vibe. I don't wanna be friends with my exes. Something about you got me invested now. Now that we've got most of the vocals laid, we can copy them over. I don't wanna be friends with my so something you can do, throw a little bit of delay on there. We just got this echo stock plugin, but you can use things like H delay. Uh, whatever your stock delay is, it'll work. See, so that gives it a, just a little bit more vibe. So something else you can do with these is add little vocal chop kind of thing. Just take a little piece of the vocal, pitch it, and kind of just mess with it a little bit until you get something cool. Just to get this out of the way, since I know a lot of people are looking for this, if you're looking for the chipmunk kind of Eric DOA kind of vibe, there are a couple different things you can do, but here's one of them. You would take your auto tune, just like this. You go to classic if you have, you know, auto tune, and you would mess with this throat. I don't wanna be friends with my exes. Something else a lot of people do is pitch the instrumental down and then record the vocal there and then pitch the vocal up. And so it gives it this weird kind of texture. I'm not gonna do it in this particular one, but that is something that you can do. Once you're done, give yourself a little pat on the back and then bump that shit. I don't wanna be friends with my exes, but something about you got me invested now. for coming to the tutorial if there's anything i left out make sure to leave it in the comments and let me know because i'm doing this for you guys also subscribe to the channel i'm really trying to get to 100 subscribers if not it's all good i'm gonna be making videos regardless y'all enjoy the rest of y'all's week keep making dope music and i'll see you next time love you